Now let's go to our legal analyst, Irv Miller, who is in our street side studio. Irv, before we um, started this newscast, you said this is a much bigger deal than uh, the indictment and the, and the conviction of Rob Lagojevich. Why? You know, uh, Speaker Madigan, when he was uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, he controlled every law, whether uh, on any subject, whether it got passed by the General Assembly or it got defeated by the General Assembly. He was, in many ways, the de facto governor in the state of Illinois. He controlled what the laws were going to be in this state for years, and he maintained that power um, up until a couple of years ago uh, when things started to go, go south, actually. Irv, the scope of this, I think, is going to be really telling. Obviously, years of investigation in the federal probe, but what will uh, the range of charges tell us? You know, we've heard that it's going to be a racketeering charge and a bribery charge. We really have to wait till this press conference to see what the actual charges are. What's really interesting is what specific acts are going to be alleged in this indictment that they consider uh, corrupt acts. And hopefully this indictment will also tell us what evidence there is to support those. Who's flipping on him? Uh, are there wiretaps that directly implicate him? Uh, we need to see what the government has in to, in their attempt to try to prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt to overcome that presumption of innocence that he, as, as well as every other person in this country, is cloaked with. Irv, we obviously have had Illinois governors go to prison. We've had many Chicago aldermen go to prison. But in recent years, we've had the indictment of Ed Burke and Mike Madigan, both men in their late 70s. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, it takes a long time to build cases like this. Uh, you know, you have a situation that uh, other people have already been indicted for the same thing, and it, I don't think it's a secret that the government has tried to flip these people to testify against Speaker Madigan, former Speaker Madigan. I think we will know today whether or not those efforts by the government to flip any of these people is successful, and then we get to see how strong this case is once we know what the evidence is. Who's going to be testifying? What evidence will be presented to a jury in federal court? Uh, it'll, it's going to be an interesting press conference, to say the least. It certainly will. Irv, another question for you. In looking at the timeline of this, uh, the wagon sort of started circling in 2019. Does the speed of this seem on track, or does that tell us anything? You know, I think you have to, you know, factor in COVID to, to this situation. You know, pretty much, you know, the courts pretty much came to a, a, almost a complete standstill uh, for the last couple of years. So I think you have to factor that in. And the fact that the government wanted to build a case that will stand. You know, this you're talking about Michael Madigan, probably the most powerful politician in the state of Illinois for years and years and years. You want to get it right. Irv Miller, our legal analyst, thanks. We'll be checking in with you later.